a village built in the shape of an octagon, a relaxed country walk between three ancient communities, a real taste of rural China, surrounded by water and lush farmland. This is Drone and Phone, and today we're walking a loop around Li Cha. And welcome to Drone and Phone, the show where I take my trusty drone on my back here, and the phone that I'm filming with you right now, and show you some of Asia's best one day outdoor activities. I've taken the train to Zhao Qing, it's a new series. We have five episodes looking at different places around the district. We're starting in the village of Li Cha. The much overlooked Jiaoqing district is just four hours on the train from Hong Kong, three hours on the bus from Shenzhen and an hour and a half from Guangzhou International Airport. The ancient city built along the West River is a great starting point for exploring rural China and in this series we bring you five one-day adventures that can be accessed from the city. Our first is an easy day walk around three villages of Li Cha, Chang Hu and Cha Tang. Take bus 315 from the railway station and ask the driver to drop you off at Li Cha. Surrounded by water, Li Cha, or Ba Gua as it's known locally, referring to the eight trigrams of Taoist philosophy, is formed in the shape of the yin and yang symbol. Now, mostly deserted, it's a great place to explore without a map. Once you are done exploring, look for the village road out to Cha Tang and set off on foot. It takes less than an hour to reach and has lots of people and farm life to see along the way. As with Li Cha, Cha Tong has typical Lingnan architecture from the Song dynasty, with ancestral temples and classical wok handle shaped roofs. So I've just finished the second of the villages. I'm in Cha Tong right now. It's been pretty easy walking, just maybe 20 minutes to half an hour between the villages, but it makes a very pleasant stroll and also very interesting. Lots of things going on. You really get a sense of being in rural China here. Um, particularly on the way in between each of the villages and inside the villages there's so much to do, so much to explore, so many absolutely beautiful buildings. I'm going to have a conversation with my friend over here, find out a little bit more about this village. I found no shortage of local people happy to have a chat and show me around, making the whole experience very special. There's also great country food to be had in the restaurants around the outside of the villages. My third stop was Chang Hu. This has all the charm of Li Cha without the tourists and again only about an hour's walk away. I was lucky enough to meet 76-year-old Deng Zhu Gang, who took me up his tower that overlooks the village for a bird's eye view. Once you're done here, complete the triangle with a walk back to Li Cha, from where you can take the bus back to Zhao Qing. Well, that's the end of the first in the series. A really pleasant village walk and some countryside too. You really get a sense of being right in the middle of the Chinese countryside uh, while you do it. Lots and lots of things to explore, lots of places to go and some great food on offer as well. Now, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. You can also find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued on droneandphone.com. My name is DJ Clark and this is Drone and Phone. <laughs>